Tim, it's Friday. A couple things. You're yeah. rocking. You're rocking that Tim Seymour vest. And, and by the way, unlike most guys that play for the Mets, you're playing hurt. You're playing, playing hurt, hurt today. I'm playing hurt. Uh, look, I, but there's no such the, – the initials DL are not in my vocabulary. So, um, uh, you, you know, I don't know if you remember this. Like, So, I, I almost wow, had to like, do, like – Wow, look at the, that. Look at that. The cutoff. Almost had to do – and meanwhile, like, the, 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 the great irony is I feel like punching shit because – I. I feel like I'm taped up, you know. I mean, like, uh, cut the dick, cut the. Uh, you know, I, that's that's a that's a good look though. That's a serious look. Yeah. Um, you you got to get people to sign it. Like, get the kids to sign it. You know, get yeah, your wife. Guys, yeah, that's what the kids ready. do. This guy's getting ready to to work on something. She's gonna have like a, a full mural on my arm at some point, and hope. Yeah. You know. We've already given her the. By the way, I've already given her. Uh, I, I, this is great for a lot of people. But and I, I really noticed no attempts at disparagement, but uh, I've given my daughter the conversation about no tattoos, um, whether she listens to me or not. It's another story. I, I realize some people love their tats are all inked up. Guy, are you inked? You got any ink? Of, of course not. I, I mean, come on. You say that knowing the answer. No ink. Here. I'm just, it would be dope for me to get inked up. OK, I mean, it's not how I roll. OK, so, but, with, but that's saying, I mean, you're going to have an opportunity to see what ink would look like. On Tim Seymour yeah, vis-a-vis yeah. this cast, so I think that's a that's a blessing. Well, it's a blessing, and and you know clearly, I, I've I've played around with a couple of temporary tats. At one point, I had like a like a leopard. I had like a big old you know like fake leopard on my arm just to see how it felt. I don't know why I picked the leopard, but um, well, you know, I've, I know why you picked the leopard. I mean, because you're you're a man, you're ahead of your time, and you obviously what's what's topical now. This well, the I was the original Warren Kitty. I was. I was just going to say, you were the original. That's exactly right. Yeah. You're just way ahead of your time. And this week we learned about Hello Kitty, Roaring Kitty, and all the, I'll say it, all the shit that went down on Capitol Hill yesterday. It's a That was an embarrassment. It was an embarrassment. Um, But, uh, and and we knew it was going to be cats and dogs. And we knew that, you know, they're not ever going to get along. Um, Congress isn't ever really going to be there to have a constructive conversation on something like this because it's all about political grandstanding and, and often people that know nothing about what they're talking about. Absolutely butkus about this stuff. Regardless of the vertical they're talking about, it, I mean, it, it could runs the gamut in terms of t- topics and, and whatever businesses, and they still don't seem – so whoever is whoever's prepping these guys and gals, or maybe they should just do it on their own, they're, they're all fil- – listen – I shouldn't say they're all. Most of them are failing at their job. To ask, a, you know, somebody asked a question yesterday. I won't get that granular, but talk to me about the role that dark pools play in market structure. Yes or no? Oh, boy. That I mean, that's, well. a, that's, you know, there are yes or no questions like, you know, Tim, uh, are you 56 years old? No. Tim, yeah. are you good looking? Yes. But Tim, I, no. speak to me about the market structure regarding dark pools. That's not a yes or no question. Just saying. No, no, I I. I, I surprised we didn't get some weird answers on that one uh, i'll leave it at that uh, we will get so, some weird but you know right. what one thing you have been talking about uh cast and all is this resource trade and it's manifested yeah. you know again awkward segue but you know we talk about hello kitty roaring kitty roaring toy whatever but caterpillar today made a multi-year Nothing high north there. of i think 209 dollars a share um, on the back of i think this hope for well the hope that we've been talking about for a while i think the market's finally figured out that Caterpillar, quite frankly, valuation-wise, is probably still relatively cheap. And the winners of this whole thing are going to be names like that. Well, Caterpillar is typically associated with the mining industry, right? And to what extent you've got, you've got an infrastructure place. And, and so we've got an infrastructure bill. Um, we've got a case where, where, where actually there is an argument to be made for mining. We, we've talked about this resource trade. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very... Uh, firm on my view of a resource trade, but, but a, a possible commodity super cycle redux. Uh, maybe not like what we saw from 2003 to 2009 and maybe even 2011. It, it, it kind of, you know, and, and that goes back to my emerging markets days. But, but I, I do think that there's a lot to be said about this argument. And, and then people look at John Deere, uh, and that's often more tied to the farming sector and what's been going on with some of the, the bulks and, and the soft commodities. So, uh, I think either place, by the way, uh, you know, nothing runs like a deer um, except for my John Deere lawn tractor, which which is finally kicked the bed after 15 years uh, of me cruising around my yard like like I am a, you know, carving down corn at harvest in Nebraska. 
Um, but, but uh, you know, I do think you have a case here where those trades continue to work. Uh, and I think the trades in some of the bulks and, and then also some of the softs, some of the commodity space, but the players that are most associated with that, Rio Tinto, BHP Billiton, yeah, Volley. I mean, these are names that we haven't talked about in such a long time. We have talked about Freeport Mac. We have talked about the steel companies, and those have been great trades. I think, folks, it's time to kind of broaden your brush a little bit and, and you know, see if nothing runs like a deer for you. I, I think it's right. time. Right. And you're going to have to probably learn how to dribble with your left hand um, as, you you know, it looks like it, you're on the shelf yeah. for a little while. And I want yeah. the one thing I actually want to mention to you is we, before we get out of here, uh, the Met fans are all gleeful. Apparently, you guys signed Johnny Walker or somebody to pitch. I mean, I never heard of the guy, but I mean, Met fans are like they're Justin just Wilson? they're ecstatic. I, don't know. I, 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 I mean, missed that headline. So no, I yeah. maybe one you, you were in surgery, so maybe you missed it. But okay. apparently, the Met fans, Thank this, you. you know, another another retread uh, Met player for 2021 campaign. And before we get out of here, you know, you mentioned Redux. Of course, the great Frank Ducks uh, was portrayed by who is that? Kung Fu dude with the accent back in the 80s. Why can't I think of his name? I think he's got Van three Damme. names. Van Dam. There Damme. you go. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean Van played Damme. the great Frank Ducks in one of those movies. Anyway, I, gotta I mean, tell that's you, completely and, 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 off the rails. And I, I know he's a big fan of commercial break. Hey, Jean-Claude, you ain't so bad. I'll take a piece of that right now, man. Right, right now. I, 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 you know what? I think a lot of those karate guys in the 80s, I mean, who was the other guy who was married to Melanie Griffith? Banderas. Suddenly Banderas was a karate guy. I thought he was just a good looking, like, you know, international lover. I mean, and suddenly he was a karate guy. So I want a piece of Van Damme. Jean-Claude, you know I'm out there looking for you. Uh, and Guy, uh, you know, I'm always looking for you. My sense is some of the some of the anesthetic hasn't worn off for you to make that. But, I'm gonna but anyway, listen, I know you got to run. We'll talk on Monday. Thank you.